Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu channel, Elimu TV, which is your station when you get where you get to watch and learn. I'm your tutor Mr. Mongi taking you through physics form 3 uh, refraction. So stay tuned through the lesson and do follow through. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of the lesson, we'll be able to determine refractive index with reference to uh, in terms of velocity. We'll also determine refractive index through successive media and we'll also look at refractive index in terms of real depth and apparent depth. So refraction of light from the diagram, you, uh, this is to help us recall that this is the bending of light uh, when it travels from one medium to the other. So refractive index in terms of velocity. Consider a ray of light through medium 1 with a velocity V1 to medium 2 with a velocity V2. So velocity is uh, V1 is in V1 is greater than velocity in V2. And at the interface where we have the boundary between the two medium, you will see that the light ray bends at that point. So how do we get the refractive index? So remember from Snell's law, sine i all over sine uh, r reflect uh, that is the sine of the angle of incidence uh, divided by the sine of the angle of uh, refraction is given by the displacement in medium one divided by displacement in medium two which is equivalent to velocity of uh, the fluid in in medium one uh, per unit time mod, uh, divided by velocity of uh, right in medium 2 per unit time. Now since uh, the time is constant we consider the velocity which changes and this gives us sine, uh, sine, uh, the sine of the angle of incident in medium 1 and divided by the sine of uh, the, uh, the angle of refraction in medium 2 is equivalent to velocity of light in medium 1 the velocity of light in medium 2. So by multiplying this using the uh, Snell's law, uh, equating it to the constant, so that this gives us the velocity of light in uh, the refractive index uh, in medium 1 divided by the velocity in medium 1 is equivalent to the refractive index in medium 2 multiplied by uh, the velocity of light in medium 2. So given that the refractive index of diamond is 4.2 and the velocity of light in air is 3.0 meters times 10 raised to power 8 meters seconds, calculate the velocity of light in diamond. So how do we get the solution? Remember, uh, the uh, refractive index is equivalent to velocity of light in medium 1 divided by velocity of light in medium 2. So replacing or substituting it uh, appropriately, you will get that the, vero this, the, the, the refractive index, which is 2.42, is given by velocity of right in air divided by velocity of right in medium 2. So this gives us uh, a ratio uh, that uh, by computing appropriately, making V2 the subject of the formula, it gives us a velocity of 1.24 times 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second. So what about in successive media? That is light moving from one medium to another and in each at every interface there is bending which occurs. How do we get to know the refractive index? So sine i all over sine r is equals to the refractive index of uh, medium 1 with respect to medium 2. So at the second inf uh, interface, our angle of uh, refraction becomes the angle of incidence uh, mm -hmm. and the angle of refraction mm -hmm. uh, takes after the interface uh, in medium 2 gives us refraction angle at uh, uh, the, the angle of refraction in medium 3. So this gives us the angle of incidence, which is the angle of refraction in medium 1 uh, with, res uh, with respect to medium 3, giving us equation 3. So by computing this, you will realize that we have a successive 
a way of getting the refractive index throughout the medium given for instance since here we have three medium so the refractive index of medium one with respect to medium three is given by uh, the refractive index of medium one to medium two multiplied by the refractive index of medium two to medium three uh, and hence uh, this equation holds etc so we can be able to determine a given number of uh, uh, refractive index through a given number of successive medium so let's see whether we've got to understand the concept of this lesson calculate the angle between uh, that the angle theta bureau given that the refractive index of grass and water are 3 over 2 and 4 uh, over 3 with uh, respectively from the diagram the angle of incidence is 30 you can refer this to uh, physics students book 3 or give us a text through the numbers on your screen or visit our YouTube channel uh, or Facebook page at Erimu TV or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. So once again, I'm your tutor. Stay tuned for more lessons to come.